So my boy Michael Meads, shout out to him, suggested we need to revisit the 2009 NBA draft. Blake Griffin went number one. Hashim the beat went number two. And it made me think, let's get into it. Why not? Let's look at it. So I'm going to give you guys the 2009 NBA draft class. This is, this is the order. This is how they went. This is where I went down. You got Blake Griffin to the Clippers at number one. You got Hashim Thabi, the first player ever to go to the D-League drafted that high in history. Uh, James Harden, you know, not bad, not bad, you know, but of course they he no longer is there either. You got a guy like uh, Tyreek Evans. You know, serviceable player. Didn't really live up to the hype, I would say, uh, that he had coming out. And then last but not least, I mean, sorry, number five, Ricky Rubio, the sensation from Spain. Everybody was clamoring about him. I thought Ricky Rubio was going to be the next best point guard. You know, Minnesota clearly didn't think he was going to be the next best because they took Johnny Flynn right after that with number six. And then came Steph Curry. Now, what I will say in this draft, six players made the all-star team in their careers. I think one, two, three of those players are in, drafted in the top ten, and this was terrible. Now, looking back on it, Blake Griffin coming out of Oklahoma, player of the year, averaged 15.5 points a game in his career now, so it's not a bad pick. But still, if you're the Clippers and you look back at that draft, there's only one person you would take. It's Steph Curry. Now, we can look at a guy like Hashim Thabit, like I said, 2.2 points in a game, 2.7 rebounds. That's his career, Hashim Thabit. And, you know, 7-3, 10 blocks in a game, you would think he'd be a great number two pick, but clearly he wasn't the answer. He didn't get it done for Memphis because he was on the D league in the D league very quick, very quick. What Minnesota did down there, that's why they're still no good today. Why would you pick two point guards? Matter of fact, they picked a third point guard later on. It made no sense. I got a better plan for them. I got a better plan for all these teams. So what I'm gonna do? We'll go into a dream right now, and we'll look at who I believe should have been the draft order for the 2009 NBA draft. If I was the GM of all these teams, this is how I would have done it. Steph Curry would have been the number one pick in the draft, although, you know, he had injuries. The man averaged 28.6 points at Davidson. He's a three-time champion. He's a unanimous MVP, the only unanimous MVP. Don't let it go over your head. And he's been amazing, you know what I'm saying? He hasn't. He has not been anything that you would be like, yo, why wouldn't we pick Steph Curry? What, why would you pick Harden over Curry? He hasn't won anything. Why would you pick Blake Griffin over Curry? He hasn't won anything. Danny Green. I mean, none of these guys have won anything other than Curry. So it's obvious and easy. Steph Curry should have been number one. Blake Griffin could have went down to Memphis, and him and Zach Randolph could have been friends. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I mean, <laughs> albeit, you know, that still could have been a void for them to pick up a big man. Would have been real easy. Put Blake Griffin in there. Would have got a lot more product than Hashim Thabit. If I'm OKC, I still pick James Harden. He was a great player coming out of Arizona State. Looked good. Played well. Has performed up to this point. MVP as well. If I'm the Kings, go get your point guard like Drew Holiday, man. I, I, I don't get why Drew Holiday couldn't have easily have been the pick. Uh, if I'm the Sacramento Kings that year. Uh, let me switch this around, actually, because I want to make sure that y'all can see uh, what I'm drafting because <laughs> clearly what they drafted wasn't it uh, but yeah also Brandon True Holiday he's been great for the Pelicans I mean he's just been sitting out there he's got injured a couple times but Sacramento still has not found a point guard in my opinion since Mike Bibby let's just be real Brandon Jennings a serviceable player even to this day he was young kid from Compton DeMar DeRozan, kid from Compton. I mean, I was trying to put something together there, man. I mean, if Minnesota had any brains, put the two kids from Compton together, let them come out and play ball. 
let them come out and play ball together. Maybe they could have got comfortable. Maybe there could have been some chemistry. Maybe Minnesota could have relived something. But no, they picked two point guards. And if I'm Golden State, Danny Green, you know, you were building something. You know, Danny Green, good, good player. I think he won a national championship with North Carolina that year. So, uh, no, he didn't win the national championship in 09. I think Duke won in 09. But <laughs> Danny Green, he was a championship caliber player. He's someone that I would have drafted in 2009. I mean, you got some other guys in that draft. Uh, but ultimately, how say you? 2009, if we can go back, shout out to Michael Meads. I see him in the comments right now. Um, you know, he, he showing some love. Griffin over the beard. Uh, Corey Finch on Harden doesn't play defense. That's where I met with it, you know. Give me Blake Griffin. It, Harden, it took, a, it took him a couple years to come to his own, albeit he had to share the floor. But in Memphis, I guess he would have had a couple defensive stalwarts around him to help, and maybe all right. Maybe Harden should have went number two to Memphis. I don't know. They had Mike Conley. That's tough. That's tough. Good Good, good uh, question by my boy Michael Meads, though. One more time, I'll show y'all who I believe should have been drafted in the 2009 redraft, according to myself, Stephen the Dream. 